Hello everyone, Katja here and today I have a very exciting video. Furniture art doesn't have to be complicated and you don't need years and years of experience. I started my journey with small end tables and that is what I'm going to do today. Furniture art simplified. Does that sound good? We're starting with this French provincial end table and because it has some chips in the paint, we're going to need to sand it. Normally, you don't have to sand to prep your pieces when using Anislon chalk paint. But when you see chips like this, it's much safer to get all those loose stuff off and give it a light sanding. Now we can clean. Probably the most important step in prep process. Remember that. For my color, I chose a soft pink Antoinette. Since this is a French provincial table, I wanted to use Antoinette color. It just makes sense to pair these two. It's a beautiful, soft color and so sophisticated and elegant and just so cute, isn't it? I wanted to add a little bit of texture to the paint, so for that we simply just tap the paint on. The reason I wanted the texture on my table is because it wasn't in great conditions already, so this is a great way to hide all those imperfections, and also this will help me later on add more character and dimension to the piece, and you will see how. Now that we're done with painting and my paint is completely dry, we can add some transfers. I chose a floral cord from Resin with Prima because it complements the color and look we're going for perfectly. Floral cord, Antoinette color, French provincial. It's just all matching. It's all going together. We're creating Maria Antoinette piece. Cut the pieces to size and rub off the transfer onto your furniture. This step is very easy and don't be intimidated by this. Just make sure you measure twice before you cut. Transfers are the easiest way to level up your furniture quickly and easily. I mean, come on, that is just so beautiful. Just so beautiful, I love it. I told you, this is simple, but honestly, no one will know that by looking at it. They will look at it and they will think, oh my God, how did you do that? Well, it's quite easy to do it. You can do it too. <laughs> now for protection, we will add some clear wax. This will deepen your color and give your furniture that authentic chalk paint look. And now for some aging. I mixed a little bit of clear wax and black wax for this. Mm -hmm. 
And once you start aging your pieces, at that point, everyone will think you have some mad skills and this is something very complicated, but really it isn't, it's not. You just have to not be afraid of it to do it. Remember, it's all about having fun and enjoying what you do. You must do this after your clear wax, but I like to do it fresh, so don't leave this step for another day. Simply apply it on and then rub off the extra with a cheesecloth or a microfiber cloth. So remember, when using any colored wax, like dark wax, brown wax, you always want to uh, do that as soon as, as you apply clear wax. That will give you the best uh, control over your shading and your aging. So it's all about that. If your clear wax hardened already and it, you leave it like that, then you will have harder time uh, moving around your uh, dark wax. So just have that in mind. These are the little things that give your pieces so much character, a lot of character because sometimes I apply it and I am like, wow, really? Just a little bit of wax did this to the piece? It's just so fun, just try it. Then I went in with some gold gilding wax around some of the details and borders. This is yet another simple step to take your furniture to another level. And this step is my favorite. It's just so fun. And if you wonder how can you remove your dark wax or gold wax or any wax that you don't like and in case you mess up, well, you just use mineral spirits. It's simple as that. Use a mineral spirits on a little cloth, wipe it and it will come off. So it's no big deal. Because some of the details are very small, I'm using a very small detail brush. Normally, you can just use your finger for this. I started my gold wax journey with my finger and uh, that's probably the most fun way to do it. And the same for the hardware, just add gold. Just out gold, throw gold everywhere you want it. Just have fun with it. The more gold, the better. At least that's what I think. <laughs> By combining these simple techniques on one piece, we have created beautiful furniture art. And now that you have experience on a little table, you can transfer that to a big piece. So remember, if you're trying something new and you're trying to learn all these different techniques, just do it on a little table. And when you're ready, you will do those big pieces and you will feel confident. I think this piece is simple, gorgeous, so soft, elegant beautiful it's just so romantic and that's what i wanted to create today you can create all kind of different styles with these techniques it doesn't have to be soft and romantic it can be bold and wild or it can be anything you want you just have to use your imagination and just practice and have fun Don't be afraid of this and give it a try and you will be surprised how good actually you are. I promise you, just have fun with it. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next time with a new project and more ideas. Bye guys.